the car we are reviewing today is mostly tailor-made for more mature adults with families who require both performance and practicality and that is why uh, today we are bringing you a gist or rather an up close and candid review of this particular car it does have a younger sibling but it's more meant for drivers who are, who are a bit younger and uh, who still have families and that is why today we are giving you an up close and candid review of the Volkswagen Passat variant and as usual Conversations is that channel that is going to guarantee you an alluring motor vehicle experience I'll be your Canvasology serving you your weekly days of Canvasitamo Eric Okabi, Eric with a CK on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. Also, we value your feedback on conversations and you can also win merchandise, yes, on our weekly Facebook challenges. Do follow us again, conversations on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. And now, up close and candid with the Passat variant. Before we talk about the Passat variant, I have some good news for you guys. Guess what? The Conversations Auto Clinic is up and running, located uh, along Riara Road, directly opposite uh, Valencia Gardens. You know, we thought, as the Conversologist, we'll not only tell you about cars, but also create a platform where you can reliably get your car repaired and also checked out. So do visit us. We are having some uh, introductory uh, deals on uh, service and routine checkups at our garage. So, tutembele pale Riara Road, utapata Master Suleiman mwenyewe pale and his team ready to, you know, do some work on your car vizuri. Na beize tu ziko sawa, tutaki ku take advantage of us. And now back to the Passat variant. Before we talk much about the Passat variant, there are a few variants of the Passat because the variant is basically a, a station wagon based on the normal Passat B7 because from 2010 to 2015, this particular variant was called uh, the B7. Uh, however, uh, the Passat comes in several variations. Uh, there is this variant, there is the saloon, uh, there is also the Passat CC, which is also a saloon, but looks a bit different. Uh, the Passat CC, CC stands for Comfort Coupe. So it's a more comfort designed uh, Passat that looks uh, a bit more, you know, it's, it's, by the way, it was built to, to compete with the Mercedes-Benz CLS. Uh, so it, it, it's, it's a bit more fancy with looks a bit more different from the typical uh, Passat. And also... In 2012, it, from 2012 actually it's not sold as the Passat CC, it's only sold as the VW CC. So that's one of the things that I would also like to, I would like you guys to note. The other variant of the Passat is one that is not very common on Kenyan roads and I don't know why. Uh, the Subaru Outback has been a utilitarian beast loved by many for being, you know, a real crossover. It stands between a station wagon and an SUV. So it's a crossover SUV. Uh, it was in its own niche for a while until uh, the Volvo XC, uh, the Volvo V60 cross country came to be and also the guys at VW also developed something to uh, to compete with the Subaru Roadback and that was the Volkswagen uh, Passat all track you should uh, you should look at it by I think Bugwa will put up a uh, photo of the all track and you can see it, it's one again it features VW's four motion four wheel drive system uh, so it's it's basically a Subaru Outback version of this it's a raised Subaru no it's a raised VW Passat variant. Cadillas, uh, tafadhali, anzani kuleta yo kitu. We start with the looks and uh, the Passat variant does look conservatively VW. The typical VW design language, you don't have to be told it's a VW and it does look sleek and conservative. Haina maneno mob, it does not shout its presence, it's mature, but it does look so much like a VW Go variant. Sana sana, uh, uh, the front you can uh, you know the headlights are a bit you know they, they are a bit different but if you look at it from behind you might think it's actually a golf variant nikama mazda Xela na tenza although these ones are a bit more closer to each other and what powers up this particular passat variant under the hood of this one this particular one is a 
1500 cc uh, four cylinder turbocharged direct injection motor uh, featuring VW's TSI technology. TSI is a fancy name, uh, you know, for turbocharged uh, stratified injection, which means it has a direct uh, mode of fuel injection and also features a turbocharger. Yeah. Uh, typical VW banner. Uh, alafu, you can find uh, a, a Passat in either 1.4 liter, 1.6 liter, 2 liter, or even a 2.5 V6. Yeah, there, there, there are a few of those. And there is also, I think there were some 1.8 liter variants as well. And uh, mated to a good engine, uh, <laughs> mated to a good engine should be a good transmission. Uh, the transmission on this Passat is the traditional VW DSG gearbox uh, the uh, we have talked about this gearbox on conversation several times so i'll not talk about it much today and uh, with that let's talk about the side profile of the passat and uh, one thing you'll have to note and this is where now it does differ with the variant with the golf variant uh, because uh, the wheelbase this is the biggest uh, difference because the Passat variant has more space compared to the Golf variant. It's longer, but you will have to get really close to it so that you can actually tell the difference. And, you know, wagons are celebrated, especially if they have the power and they have the looks. I love, in fact, if, if I would compare the B7 variant with the B7 Passat Saloon, I would go for the variant because I reckon the variant looks better and it's also more practical. Notable features are the roof rails. Yes, because it's an adventure family oriented model that is supposed to give you both status and practicality. So, kwa, kwa, kwa roof rails, you can always attach something pale. Wale watu wa kwenye natoka, tunapenda sana kubeba mizigo. Yes, yes, yes. And we come to the back of this particular variant. And ukiwa hapa unaweza fikiria hii gari ni golf variant. Unless you have a very keen eye. So, the budging of this car. You have, uh, these lights are very, in fact, Zinaka appears a Golf Mark 7 ya kawaida. Then Zinaka has a Golf variant and now the Passat variant. So it, it might be hard to tell, but you do have the Passat badge on it. And on this side, this is where uh, we get a little bit more technical. TSI with the one eye that is red. So you will, you will get these cars in several formations. You can get a, uh, with several badging, so yeah, TSI. You can get a full red TSI, meaning its uh, power figures are higher compared to these conventional ones. You can get the S and I in red or the I in red. This particular one has only the I in red and you can also get all silver. Under it, Blue Motion, uh, Blue Motion, Blue Motion is basically the series of technologies used by VW to ensure that you get both fuel economy and performance because now every manufacturer is going towards reducing fuel economy. And Blue Motion does feature uh, other technologies such as idling stop, yes, uh, the costing function, auto hold, such, such, such features are coming in the Blue Motion package. And when it comes to practicality, whenever you're looking for a wagon, it needs to be practical and this is why now the golf variant differs with the passat variant and we have our boy big boy mbugwa akuji atuambia mawili matatu kuhusu boot space aya mbugwa kama kawa kama dawa how many mbugwas can you fit in a Volkswagen golf variant arguably you can fit our kabi and mbugwa comfortably sindio that tuingie okay then is a more Isamo, by the way, if you, if you want to put something on top of here, sorry, Mbugua, Alicia Kicho, you can always stretch this one. In, in, uh, in most cars, you'll find it's, it's net, in a kama neti. Uh, okay. It's uh, leather, yeah. So when you want to funga it, you just have to pull this up, okay. Ani, sindio? Uh, Iki to by then it complicated and move. Yes. Then you break it again. Then it moves. Yes. Bugua is the boot specialist. So you can arguably feel Bugua. Ah. Now uh, golf variant, you can only fit one Bugua. One, one, one and a half Buguas. But on the on the variant, on the variant you can on the Passat variant you can fit a Bugua in. Awokabi, Le, Le Kuombu. You can feed the entire Le Kuombu. But then, but I'm not.
than three. <laughs> we have uh, two heavy individuals in this car and uh, the suspension is not flexing. So uh, I reckon it's, it's meant to be practical. So, so what's it okay? And this is where now the, the Passat variant shines over the Golf variant. The spacing, it is meant to be one spacious station wagon and it brings out the real definition of station wagon so recap it is slightly longer compared to the golf variant although they really look alike turn and done it one of any he gari in a car and see how the space is translated inside there before i start talking about the interior my post might, might be a bit unnecessary, but I'm comfortable, so this is how, I'm, how comfortable I am. And I want to make one thing clear, clear like my water, is the Passat we are reviewing today is a basic model. It's actually um, very, a very low trim. However, and that is why it doesn't, does not have so much. Haina features, mob, haina paddle shift. Uh, Although it does have cruise control and idling stop, I, I, the reason why it has idling stop is, be, is because of blue motion. But compared to other VWs, uh, especially Passat, it does not have much. The reason because it's, it's a basic trim and in the Passat uh, class you have three main trim levels. There are more, but the main ones are three. You have the, the, uh, you have the trend line comfort line and also the high line so with those ones you will get even you will get sunroofs you will get leather interior you'll get steering infotainment controls you'll also get stuff like paddle shifts but unfortunately for this one we don't have so many of those in fact even the interior is fabric yes you don't have leather interior on this particular one uh, however uh, for me my preference is not so i'm not so much of a leather person especially if you drive a lot if you drive a lot and you drive in hot conditions you might understand why you do not have uh, i do not like the leather version sana sana uh, in a fanya sweat areas <laughs> the other thing is uh, that you have to notice that we don't have memory seats on this one in fact uh, the adjusting seat adjusting mechanism for the passenger is manual the driver is ele uh, electric uh, electronic uh, that is because it's a very, very basic trim of the Passat. But the notable features that are quite different from the variant is one that I really love. And this is the analog clock. Yes, Niluambi, I mean, Sivangi are digital. Sivangi are digital. Even my watch is analog. There is something about analog clocks, analog watches, analog speed dials, analog uh, rev counters or tachometers that bring out the real feel of uh you know conservative luxury uh, infotainment ihaina vitumingi because again it's a basic trim uh there are thing there, there are three things i would like to point out you get an electronic handbrake which is standard in most uh, modern vws and most german cars even some japanese cars are also coming with the electronic handbrake although i do not like the electronic handbrake much i prefer kitu navuta ju uh, for, for the driving enthusiasts. Uh, the other thing you get on this car is auto hold. I told you what the auto hold feature is. In case unaendesha gari Nairobi, kama we ni mkaaji wa Nairobi, na unajua mahali kuna itangwa Kingara Road, uh, you can always put auto hold on, especially in traffic, to prevent rollback. Because this is a DSG transmission, uh, we are not going to talk about it. And one, we talk much about it because we have talked so much about it. And on Friday we are bringing you... Uh, uh, an episode on the truth about VWs and where we are going to talk about the, the reliability aspects. So with the DSG gearbox, it's just like the 7-speed and the 6-speed gearboxes from my scene. There is some rollback effect. For those guys who are driving DSG, uh, mated uh, Golfs, uh, Passats, Tiguans, you can tell that there is always some rollback. So to prevent rollback, you get this auto hold feature, which uh, does bring a braking effect in Azuyagari Kurudinyuma. The other function of the auto hold feature is, once you get to semi kwa traffic lights, na utaki kuweka mkono kwa mgu, kwa brakes, you can also use the auto hold feature. It will hold the car for you. Uh, although, if you use the auto hold feature, you use it at the expense of idling stop the start stop technology so if you want to save fuel just use 
don't use the auto hold feature use the brake pedal so that it can activate idling stop na gari nazima ukiachilia brake inafanya nini inaguruma but me i always tell you something guys mimi auto hold yangu iko kwa mguu pale kwa clutch una balance tu na balance tu but anyway for for a person who is not a driving enthusiast or a driver who does not want to do uh, so much work you know there are guys who are driving enthusiasts but they don't they dislike manuals personally i'm more manual oriented also you get a a, a rear view mirror that has auto dimming effects and uh, some variants of the passat do have some uh, tech that does really note how you know they 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 i'm trying to explain it in in an easier term zina zina read your fatigue rating they can detect fatigue yeah so but this one is just the basic one with the auto dimming feature and you switch on and mata and about safety you have uh, airbags on a pillars b pillars c pillars yeah so it's it's a very safe car to be driving in um, so in a nutshell nothing much happened any data radio haina vitu mingi mingi bottle holders vitu za kawaida so let's check out the interior because the interior we can talk about space and because this car is more of a family vehicle then we go to the what we like and what we don't like about this vehicle then we talk about value for money na tuendeshe hii gari uh, on the rear row of seats is where the VW Passat variant does shine because it has superb legroom and that is why it's ideal for a family car and more so for mature families ukisha pata watu wao shaingia in their teenage they can they are taller than you uh, i told you i don't have kids so it's more ideal for families that are more mature ample leg room you have ac in the rear uh, you also have this but you can use this as uh, you can use this as an armrest and cup holder when you're ferrying uh, two guys but pia kama umebeba ule mse wa lift uh, unaweza irudisha juu you can actually pull it back and uh, create space for one more passenger because it, its capacity is five passengers but it does have a transmission tunnel uh, this is the reason uh, this particular one is uh, front wheel drive and mostly we find transmission tunnels big ones like this one in either all wheel drives or uh, four wheel drives because there is a difference between all wheel and four wheel Uh, and also rear wheel drive vehicles but for this one i've told you there is a version of the passat that is called the passat all track which is a serious off road rig with uh, vw's for motion technology uh, so that one does need a transmission tunnel and this vehicle is built on the same chassis okay igari to kiongea about chassis uh, it doesn't really make sense because this this particular vehicle does not have a chassis it's it's kind of a unibody zile gari zinajengwa bila you know with a chassis you have you, there you have what you call um, what is it body on frame and now there is the unibody this is the unibody meaning haina ile chuma ya chassis ni body peke ni mabati zimekunjwa so uh, same platform on the on the old track and also uh, in case there are some few all wheel drive passats and all wheel drive variants just like the, there is the subaru legacy uh, for all wheel drive and there is the Subaru Outback which is built on the Legacy's platform. So same case with the Passat. You have this basic Passat that would be you know a Subaru Legacy when it comes to the Subaru lineup because even of the space uh, and also uh, now on the Subaru Legacy you also have an Outback which is built on the same body frame as we would call it. So same case hapa. I hope tumeelewana eh. So that is why it has a transmission tunnel irrespective of being front wheel drive slash two wheel drive. So VWs are known to be performers when they get to the road. They are they, they are meant okay they are known to be you know to handle better although they also are known to have a lot of understeer. So we'll do that when we are driving this car. But before then what we like and what we don't like about this particular car. And welcome to the section where we discuss what we like and what we don't like about this car. And my first liking is the look. Finally, there is something we can agree on. And uh, one thing we forgot to tell them is that there are two fog lights. You know what one one of them is for? Yes. When you turn. Ah, But basically the car looks mature. And thing number two I love about this car is this cup holder man you know 
I don't agree with that because unajua ni kwa nini? Why would you be taking drinks in my car? Hey, wewe utakuwa baba mbaya. Ah, 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 it is my car. Mm. It is for me myself and I. Eh, hey, ndio wife. Only... <laughs> <laughs> Tumeanza kuwa pasara. One final thing I love about this car is definitely the analog clock enye imekuwa displayed kwa igari na imekuwa set up. I do love analog clocks but I find it a bit ironical Ibrahim akiambia kuhusu analog clock because these are Rolex. That's a smart watch. Why do you like you know people who kwanza wasi wanavanga smart watches hawa ni wanini these guys and Subaru <laughs> and the only thing i don't like about this car what are this what are this eh what are this sasa ukitaka kulalisha mgongo unazungusha hiki kitu paka sangapi no wait mine on the other hand uh, i hope the camera person can see mine is electric why Mbona passenger pay comfort car yako? Let me ask you. Yeah. Why should you have pri- more privileges than I do and it's my car? In fact, wewe unafaa kuwa mwananchi wa kawaida. It's my car, I get all the comfort. Wewe wewe unaweza jipapamana hali yako. Yeah, bana. Hata mazigwembe imejaa bro. <laughs> <laughs> Hey guys um how does it feel like to drive the Volkswagen Passat variant well you there is really not much of a difference between driving this and uh, driving the Golf variant or even driving a normal Golf it does feel bulky um, then there is plenty of understeer because again it's front wheel drive uh, that is kawaida for front wheel drive vehicles the other thing is uh, It, is, it it handles nicely it goes around corners very nicely but in tight spots you can feel that it's a long car especially when you're trying to to park uh, you the, the you know the real identity of the cars being long is brought out at that moment and kama wewe si msempo ana parking maneuvers inaweza kuwa tricky ku park around town because it's basically a long car and personally i love it for its length When it comes to Mata's performance, it does accelerate very well. Kama kawa kawaida ya VW. Yes, the turbo kicking in uh, you know of uh, around 134 horsepower uh, coming from that uh, 1600 cc engine. So basically it's it's a fun car to drive. You may not have paddle shifts on this particular trim level, but it is a fun car to drive it's a car that you will have fun driving and also a car that uh, you know will give you looks huta boeka sana but i really hope you you can get I would have more fun driving a higher trim level that has paddle shifters yes And that's it for this up close and candid review of the Passat variant and we would like you to tell us about what you think about this particular Passat variant. Na nakumbuka nilitupiwa mawe juu ya kusema ile episode yetu ya money pits sababu magari fulani zilikuja hapo. And before I talk about value for money, we will talk about what could go wrong in a VW Passat or a VW Golf or any VW or Audi in an up close and candid uh, talking head that is going down this friday so stay tuned for that ndio sasa si nilikuja na mawe last time mimi na mimi sana kuja na dimanga so eh, i'll bring you uh, some few things that you need to know before you ac- can actually buy this car however when it comes to value for money would i buy a vw go variant uh, yes i would because this one car that is both uh, it performs well it has a fuel economy and it also it's also very practical and does have the look so it's a rare blend a rare cocktail of what you'd be looking for in a car as a family person although i am not but i still do love this car pretty much when it comes to reliability we'll talk about it on friday morning on that particular episode and talk about because vw is not necessarily known to be the most reliable brand but we'll talk about it then nitakuja na facts zangu na nyinyi mkuja na zenyu eh tutatuongee niliwaambia let's get to interact maturely tupunguze matusi sawa sawa um 
the other thing I would like to tell you about this car, going for around, if you want this particular one, you can get it from Conversations at a very good price of 1.55 million Kenya shillings. If you buy this car elsewhere, you'll probably get it for 1.7. 1.75 1.6 depending on trim level but in our party 1.55 from the conversologist himself sawa sawa yo deal yangu nataka jenga hii sasa sawa sawa so um subscribe we are on the home stretch nataka kufika ligi so also cheza pale tani pesa so that you can support the production of this awesome content pia tembelea pale garage uangaliliwe gari uangaliliwe na watu wanajua chenye wanafanya uh, the other thing also remember you can uh, win and buy by there you can buy conversations merchandise from www.conversations.co.ke na kuna website fulani ya conversation yenye si yetu sawa but we'll talk about it more on friday and in subsequent uh, reviews so kama wewe ni wewe una run review website inaitwa conversations.com pull it down before we do sawa over and out guys see ya <laughs>